Yeah, Johnny Anderson, CEO of uh, Curacao Airport Partners. Mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned in the press conference that uh, you have a luxury problem. Can you reflect on the growth and the challenges it gives in uh, the coming years to go? Yeah. No, well, what I mean with luxury problem is that we have seen growth that we simply didn't expect. And the destination has become so popular that the demand for traveling here has have superseded everything that we were anticipating just two years back in time. So from that point of view, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a challenge but it's a positive challenge. What are the challenges on the short term for the no, airport? It's simply that we have gotten so much passengers now during a, during a short period of time during the day because of the uh, network issues that make most of the larger airlines from Europe, but also the North American carriers coming more or less within the same uh, time period. The demand or the request for the services extends from these carriers are actually exceeding our capacity limits in some of our sub-processes, as we call, like checking counters, like uh, like immigration or like arrival halls and so on, because everybody's coming at the same time. So we are, we are facing possible queues and, and waiting times that we may not have seen before. And those measures are the ones that we have put in place. We're putting measures in place to kind of compensate or mitigate those for this winter season that we see. Well, what can the passenger expect in the, in the coming few months in, no, in changes? No, I mean, like, as, first, of all, first of all, we are uh, having to, uh, we're going to open a new bus, bus uh, stop, or what can I say, a bus parking Near area. the arrival hall. Yeah, at the arrival hall. That will improve the flow past the curve side of the, of the, uh, of the airport. We are introducing a new queuing system into immigration at departures. There will be periods and days during the week, especially during Christmas and, and past Christmas, where we will have a lot of people wanting to check in at the same time. We will manage those queues in a completely different way than what we have done previously. Uh, following that one also, we are also improving, what can I say, on the arrival part, you know, like with a more dynamic way of queuing people and so on and so on. Especially the immigration. Yeah, especially the immigration. But I well, not immigration, uh, yeah. customs. Yeah, and customs. But I, I would like to say that they also are facing the same capacity challenges like we have, suddenly they also are the one that needs to handle the, ex the, what, you know, the, 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 the high number of passengers that now have been you know, coming to our island. And are they be addressing coming. it? They are addressing it, but as, as, as we previously mentioned, these are people that take a long time to educate and it takes some time before you can see uh, what can I say the capacity increases that they are adding. They have added the e-gates and that has helped us a lot. And the stability and the and the uh, and the, the reliability of, of, of the e gates right now is much much better than what it was just like half a year ago and so on. So so that is really helping us. We need to even what can I say become more efficient even in the small processes that we have where we already are good. We need to even improve even more to reduce the the, the possible waiting time. But I have kind of like. A, I always say to my people, I kind of have like this target, like if you are visiting Curacao for the first time and you are here for an overnight stay and want to stay at the beach, you know, like my saying is like two hours from your land until you can stick your feet down into, into the sand, you know, your toes into the sand. With all the upcoming changes, but also the growth of passengers, can you reflect on uh, the uh, passenger facility charge in the coming years? Yeah. We have, since we have had this increase of passenger uh, traffic, you know, like we see a lot more passengers. Of course, you know, like the, 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 we will be able to distribute the cost of the facility on, on, on more, more passengers, meaning the passenger service charge will be decreased. And I expect that the government will, imp uh, will approve the proposal that we have done together with, uh, with, uh, with the BTP. Now it's called the... Um, yeah, it's a new uh, regulator. Regu regulatory authority of yeah. Curaçao. Sorry, sorry. So with REC, regulatory authority of Curaçao. We will know now in the beginning of November if it goes through. But my expectation is that the passenger service charges, both for domestic, meaning the inter-island travel, and for international will be seriously decreasing 
buy from 1st of January. It has to. I mean, like, we need to stay competitive. I'm very focused on that one. So. Now, for the, the longer term, maybe the, the, the middle long term, mm -hmm. you announced the new master plan for the airport. That's, that's, we are working on a master plan right now together with, uh, together with uh, the asset owner, the holding. And we hope that we can agree on the future together with them in that master plan so we can have a proposal to, to, uh, to discuss with the government and then go, uh, go ahead and, and, and develop the airport beyond, what can I say? The and that has that also to do with the concession that ends in 2000? Of course, we are, it depends again on how big an investment do we need to do, you know, like, because if it is a huge investment, and of course, you know, you need longer time to recoup those. And then, of course, you need to discuss, okay, how do we recoup that investment? Uh, and, and then, of course, one of the things could also be, you know, an extension on the current uh, concession that we have. Or it could be other kinds of models, you know, like an exit fee or, or different other kinds of things that could come into play. What are you hoping for? Uh, I, we are not finished with the master plan yet because we are discussing. So it depends very much on, it's, it's, we have our vision. But uh, the government also have their vision and needs and requirements for that future. And we need to align those two to, to agree on the future, you know, how that one may look like. Mm. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you so much.